Welcome to day two on our riding in North Carolina. Sally is a trail system located in the Nantahala National Forest. Getting there is a bit of a scenic route and there's not much except trails and Lake Fontana. It rained a lot on the area the day before, so we expected wet trails. As we drove there, that was pretty much confirmed. We started with left loop, and despite the rain, the trails were flowy and fast. Although they were very wet, especially on lower parts, it got better as we climbed up. Sally is not technical at all, at least here on left and right loops. The one thing it has in a couple of areas is exposure, so don't look left. Nice view here. Enjoy. Navigating Sally is pretty easy. Trails are bidirectional, there's not many turns around on the trails. Signage is well placed, so you won't get lost. The system has several trails, left, right, mouse branch, and Thompson. We did left and right loops today as one loop of 19 miles and almost 1500 feet of elevation gain. There's another loop called figure eight which looks like this, and it's obviously a little bit longer for 23 miles. You can also do only left or only right loops following the same route. It's pretty wet and cross country tires. Ooh, 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 ooh. And these rocky things don't help. Slippery as. The four trails alternate between horse riding and mountain biking depending on the day of the week. 
but this also depends on the month you write. So be sure to check the Forest Service website to get some guidance on that. One thing Sally has for sure is beautiful views. There are several overlooks, but the best is definitely the one on the higher part of Left Loop. This is the overlook on left. After the overlook, I'm gonna rock in here. Really steep, you can't see it probably. It's drier than the rest. Okay. Yeah, baby. The trail can get really fast and slow, but that will happen only if your legs allow it, because you will have to pedal a lot. After all, it is a cross-country trail. This park isn't too difficult, too technical, but it is somewhat physical. Sounds about extended climbs. Not too much grade, but still, it's an up and down, up and down, and uh, it gets you tired. But all this is what you do it for, right? The downs. Yeah. Tight though. So as long as you hit it slow and steady on the climbs, you preserve the energy for this, and you'll be good. It's flowy as hell. A bit scary on some corners. Because if you fail, you go down. Like I almost went down right now. the lower part of right loop seems to be pretty flat according to the uh, elevation chart 
it's pretty flat for the most part. Up and down. The left loop is more, the climbs are longer, but also the downhills are longer. Still slowy, don't get me wrong, but you have to pedal here on the right loop. Tighter corners, I think, compared to the left loop. Getting much traction here. On the next episode, I will be riding Greens Lake and Ingalls Field Gap on Bend Creek. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss it. Beautiful, huh?